You are visiting your best friend at the hospital, bringing all the essentials you need. At this point, the nurses and most of the hospital staff know you by now. You reminisce, spend time and shoot the shit, without knowing how much more time you have left with them. <clears throat> how many more of these treatments do I need to go through? <clears throat> Come in. Oh, you, you don't have to drop by every, you know. You, you've got classes to catch up to. You're going to need all the help you can get now that I'm not there anymore. You explain that you can always catch up via online lectures. Still, online lectures only get you so far with accounting. I know how bad you are with numbers. Yeah, yeah, call me a bookworm all you want, but... You never had any problems with that when you needed to copy off me. I know I can be a bit of a hard ass sometimes, but I'm just looking out for you is all. Seriously though, thanks for stopping by, was it hard getting in the hospital? <laughs> yeah, I suppose the nurses all know you already at this point. One of them thinks you're pretty cute too. No, my lips are sealed. I'm taking this with me to the grave. <laughs> oh, come on, it's kind of funny. Uh, anyway, did you see my folks on the way out? I needed to remind them to get me something other than clothes and food. I'm dying of boredom here. Yeah, they, they just left, actually. Mum needed some rest and Dad needed to get back to work. You bring out a goodie bag you've been hiding behind your back. Oh! A surprise goodie bag to boot. You should have led with that instead. Give me a look. Oh wow! Someone pulled out all the stops. Wow, look at all these snacks. Top ramen, Hello Panda cookies, rice cakes. I better hide these under the bed or mom's not going to be happy. This is awesome though, really. It's true what they say, hospital food sucks ass. Oh, you even got me my favourite manga series. Yeah, I heard they were going to come up with the anime adaptation. Shame I'll miss it. Wait, there's more. Oh, damn, no you didn't. You brought your old PS2? Wow, did these even work anymore? Wh what are we playing today? WWE? Just like the good old days. Uh, yeah, I think you could hook it up to the TV. You just gotta find the right cable. You got it? Nice. Come on, grab a chair and hand me a controller. Someone clearly forgot how much of an ass beating they got, eh? Yeah, yeah, that's a lot of talk from someone who loses all the time. Game on. Oh, damn, this brings me back to the good old days. We were playing this literally every day when you first got it. Snacks and games, just like how I remembered it. God, your mum got so upset with us because her eyes were literally glued to the screen. Yeah, clearly we weren't part of the cool kids. Tried the awkward geek squad. But hey, looking back at it, there's no one I'd rather have as my best friend. Out of all the people that came and went in my life, you were always right there with me. You got my back in everything. Hey, come on, are you even trying? I swear you still suck at gaming to this day and... Hey. Hey, what's wrong? Y you giving up already? <laughs> Listen. I know. I know this isn't fair. God knows how much I've said so when they found the tumour. 
I wish things were different. I wish I had more time, but honestly, I, I, I've made peace with it. Look, we've been over this before. There is really nothing that can be done anymore. The doctors have tried. Honestly, all I'm really doing here is buying more time to see your ugly mug. How am I joking about this? I'm not going to lie, there are plenty of things I wish I had time for, but... It's pointless to even think about it. Now, all I want to do is be grateful for the things I've had in my life. And a big part of that includes you. I definitely do not regret getting into a fight with you at preschool. Skipping class in middle school to go to the cyber cafe. Shooting the shit with you over coffee. Constantly debating over the smallest and stupidest things. I enjoyed all the memories. Both the laughter and the tears. When I shared my doubts, my fears, my hopes and my dreams. You never judge me for them. You're always listening. There is not one bit I regret about our friendship. There really isn't. If there's one thing I do regret is that I'm sorry if there were times when I wasn't being a good friend or I was being selfish. I hope you can forgive me for all those times when I've said things I shouldn't have said. Looking back, it was stupid to let my ego get the best of me just for the sake of winning some dumb argument. I can't even remember what we were even arguing about. I'd rather lose some dumb argument than my best friend. I know, I know, it's all in the past. I just want to say thank you for all the memories. The late night conversations we've had. Midnight supper runs, gaming till the sun went up. Don't, don't say that. You can do it, you're gonna make new friends. New memories. Eventually you can move on. But I hope you know I'm not going anywhere either. Yeah, I'm not. You remember what I said last year when we were chilling in your car at three in the morning after that long study sesh? I'm always going to be here for you, no matter what. And I intend to keep my word. Not even all... This is going to stop me from keeping that word. No way am I leaving you hanging. I'm always going to be here when you need me. I promise. And there's one more thing. Thank you for being my friend. Now, are we going to sit here and hug all day, or are you ready to get owned all over again? <clears throat> Look, that's better. Hey, quit cheating. 